Hey guys, welcome back to Say Intentions. Today we're talking about Tour Tuner. Tour Tuner, you can create custom tours anywhere in the world. I'm going to show you a quick rundown on how to use it. So it's pretty basic if you just follow the rules, but I'll give you some hints and tips. So we go down to create a tour and you will get this screen eventually your auto tour builder. So basic information about your tour. Uh, we want to name it. We want to name it something pretty simple that, uh, people are able to say, because to load your tour, you have to tell your tour guide, which tour you want to load. We're going to do Edmonton area. Uh, just because Edmonton's my home area. And this will be a tour of the surrounding area of Edmonton. And down here we have uh, low altitude or high altitude tours. Low altitude, think of like more specific landmarks and things like that. High altitude, you're thinking way up above like certain towns and and anything from like maybe a, even a flight level. But low altitude towers are, are fun for like the close up stuff. Your next stop is going to be your departing and arriving airport. It can be the same if you're departing and arriving from the same location, which is what ours is going to be. It's going to be Edmonton Air National, so it's going to be Yeg and Yeg. There's uh, two ways you can do it. You can create your own tour from scratch, or you could get AI to help you uh, create your tour. So you, all you have to do is select this button, and AI will use the information from the form down here, and it will try and create a tour for you. I... Um, I want to make my own, but I'm going to show you how this works, and we'll just edit it in there. We'll do like four instructions AI. Uh, we want to visit surrounding towns and cities near Edmonton, Alberta. That might be too much information, but should work. So we hit save. Now we need to fine tune it. Uh, don't add the start and end airports as where point, waypoints. It knows what airport you're starting and ending at, so you don't have to add it either. Make sure there are no points that are too close together. Four miles is about as close as you should be making points. Um, even greater, I do almost five or six miles, because you also have to give the tour time to talk about the tour before getting to your next destination. Depending on what you're flying, that can be a lot quicker. Uh, detection ranges overlap. That makes sense. You don't want anything to overlap. And ideally, it shouldn't as long as your waypoints aren't too close. And all, uh, adjusting the waypoints, always check your waypoints. Uh, AI doesn't entirely know where some things are, and it just does its best guess, or it goes off Google and whether Google does its best guess. Uh, so we'll go in and edit the tour, see what it did. Did actually pretty good. So it picked four of our points. I know Fort Saskatchewan and St. Albert. What are we looking for here? Just in Elk Island somewhere? Ah, just through the Elk Island National Park. That's all right. That's not too bad. Nothing to shake a stick at. Unfortunately, that's way too far away for what I want to do. So you know what? We're going to do the great four. We're going to do Sherwood Park, Fort Sask, St. Albert, and then Devon. So we'll just drag that. Actually, you know what? We won't drag this bad boy. We will delete this bad boy. Boomskies. And then to insert our own, just drop a point and we will call this one Sherwood Park. Capitals, I don't think, are important, but still going to do it. And a description is just kind of what the AI will use to try and uh, give information about it. I don't entirely... You know what? Let's leave it. Let's leave it and see what it does. So detection range. So on your detection range, this is when your aircraft hits a detection range and will start the tour. Sometimes this can have a delay of up to 20 or 30 seconds. So make your detection range a little bigger than you think you'd want. The last thing you want is to be over the landmarks that they start talking about or past it before they start talking about it. So we'll do five miles. Uh, Sherwood Park's fine. It's it's completely okay if it starts a tour while we're entering Sherwood Park. So we leave that there. And um, if you're putting in a new waypoint, you'll see previous stop. 
you just put in what the previous stop was before that. The reason this one is none is because it's going to be our first stop on the tour. And then we go up to Fort Saskatchewan. I hope that line fills in. <laughs> go up to Fort Saskatchewan. Um, so if we do previous stop there, I wonder if that'll fix it. Uh, Fort Saskatchewan, charming city known for its historic sites in scenic River Valley, which is also Edmonton, but that's good. So we put that in, detection range. We'll do a little wider too. We'll do about five miles. There, and uh, because we synced it up, it got our arrows right. Then we run over to St. Albert. Um, picturesque city with a beautiful Sturgeon River and several parks. That's good. It did mention River Valley. We will make that a little bit bigger too. Up to five miles. I find if you're doing a specific landmark like a building you still want to do like over two miles because uh you know planes and helicopters tend to move fast so yeah let's just let's just do about four miles because you're going to see it from up above as a matter of fact maybe even more it'd be almost interesting you know what i'm going to throw in um cfb edmonton as a tour too cfb edmonton and I'm going to let AI figure out what they're going to say about this. This needs to go, the previous stop was Fort Saskatchewan, so that should straighten it out. And then the detection range should be, you know what, we'll do about that again. Now when it says no overlap, I'm not entirely sure about this, but this is the way it's been working for me. Uh, I'm not worried about the overlap of the tail end to the next end. I'm worried about the overlap coming up from the start so hopefully that should be okay so we'll leave fort saskatchewan which barely has an overlap i think that'll be okay i think that'll be okay or else we just take out cfb edmonton st albert and then our last stop is devon a uh, quaint town located along the scenic north saskatchewan river that's kind of right everything seems to be known for its natural beauty which is fine which is fine and we'll let ai figure it out there so there's our tour. Nice and quick one. We'll leave Edmonton, heading to Sherwood Park, heading to Fort Sask, uh, stopping at CFB Edmonton, going to St. Albert, and then down to Devon. A big loop, just avoiding Edmonton altogether. <laughs> All right, when we are done that, we go to uh, that approve thing you won't have. But submit tour for approval. You send that in, and it submits a tour for approval. If you want to not submit it anymore, you can unsubmit and it'll pull it out of the queue there. But when that's pending approval, uh, it's still not available for everyone. It's got to get approved first, obviously. But the nice thing is, as soon as you put it in, it is available to you. So now you have your tour in. So you go back into Say Intention. So we'll be back to our Tour Tuner screen. How to start a tour. You'll see in your tours that you have your tours down here. Now I notice a little bit of a problem. We're seeing that my start end airports aren't there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into edit info. I think I'm right about that. Might have to go one more further, but we'll see. Yeah, it's missing sea eggs again. This happened to me too last time, but we'll just put them back in. I wonder if capitals matter. But I think I capitalized last time, but we'll see eggsy egg and hit save. And then we will see if that fixed it. It fixed it. Perfect. That might be a bug. We'll take a look at that. But that's it. Your tour is ready to go. Now, the next thing to do, which always helps me, is down in your drop down menu, you got edit info, you got your map editor. Uh, you can delete, you can, I don't think you'll have publish. I think that's, again, an admin feature. <laughs> uh, but download PLN file or download GFP file. If you uh, download the PLN file, which I'm going to do, uh, you can load it up in Microsoft Flight Simulator or in Navigraph or Little Nav Map or whatever you use. It'll open a plan file and then it'll help you follow your uh, route a little bit better. And in our next video, I will take you up in the air and we'll put all this into practice. Until then, we'll see you.